Hey, in today's video, I have a bit of a uh, story time type thing going on. Um, I am going to read one of my past journals, not present journal, that would be scary, but one of my past journals, it was from age 8 to 14, so actually it's pretty present because I'm only 15. But I'll show you some cool stories in here because, yeah, I just wanted to read my diary because there's some funny stuff in here. So, welcome to the video. Um, yeah, I had a little vote thing on my Instagram. And I think games won over story time. But I want to do story time, so yeah, we're going to do a story time. So... Uh, <laughs> I wanted to kind of just start from the beginning of this thing. Uh, I got this journal when I got baptized into a member of my church. Um, uh, my mom gave it to me and I was eight. And, yeah, I, <laughs> I wrote a lot in here. Ooh, now I'm ten. Dear journal, journal, I have not written in you forever so long way too long. I am now 10 and a lot has happened lately. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Ooh, this is so cute. Okay, so first, the most sad news, we are moving. When we actually got to, to the saying goodbye to the old house part, I was very sad. I cried many nights with my cousin, Lindsay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, so I lived in Utah, right? In this one house, in this one city. And then when I was 10, which is right here, then I moved to another house, but it was in the same city, just like on the other side of the city, but I was super sad because all my friends went to a different school and stuff. Um, yeah, and then I recently moved here like a year ago. So, oh, I moved, I was so sad. And I cried with my cousin, Lindsay. Yep, Lindsay was my favorite cousin. She's still like my favorite cousin. But, uh, um, but we used to hang out all the time. My new baby brother was born. We named him Clay. Oh, that's when Clay was born. This is just so cute. He's adorable. I spelled adorable like A-D-O-R-I-B-L. Adorable. <laughs> I'm so funny. But back then I thought it was boring that all he did was sleep. Come on, Clay. You just slept as a baby? So now this is February 8th, 2015. I think I'm 11, maybe, I don't know. Sorry for the delay. I wish I wouldn't keep putting off my journal writing. Now I'm not so interested to talk about school. Okay, <laughs> well, my old school. I can't really remember anything, but I know two things for sure. One, I dressed crazy. You wouldn't believe it. This is how I looked. I am so ashamed. I drew a picture. Let's see if I can show this. Uh, there's what I looked like in elementary school, according to me. That honestly is what I looked like, though. I have, a, like, an actual literal picture of me hanging out with my friends. It, it was bad. It was bad. Let's just say that. Did I tell you about why we ended up moving to where we uh, ended up moving? So when Sage was in kindergarten, he forgot his lunch on a field trip. And John, one of the parent volunteers, uh, offered to share his lunch with Sage. Sage met his daughter, Allie, and then they find out that they were in the same stake. Uh, we met them at the state conference, and then they moved away. But not for long, because we headed, because um, then we needed to move when he was in the first grade. My dad needed a new job, so he set off looking for one. He ended up settling on working for the University of Utah Healthcare Hospital as a computer so specialist. And so it happened, yeah, it just so happened that John was the boss of the company who hired him. So we were looking for a spot to build and then John stopped by my dad's office at one day at work and suggested that we move into the lot next door to his. Soon enough, we bought the lot and then we got to know the Speths which is their last name, and we ended up being next door neighbors to them. Yeah, so, like, we moved on my cousin's wedding day, which was kind of, like, 
a lot. <laughs> but it was also nice because, like, everybody was already, like, in town and there. So then they helped us move. Um, we used Steven's huge truck and we had to take three loads. Our rental house seemed so empty. Me, Lindsay, and Katrina, which are my cousins, made eggs for dinner. Then everyone left and we finally went to our new house. Boxes were filling every room. We set up the beds and finally got to sleep at midnight. March 1st, 2015, and this is titled, My Friend. Oh. In activity days, I met a girl named Caitlin. I recognized her from my church class. She asked a lot of questions. We found out that we were in the same age, and we both had little sisters the same age, Raina and Callie. We lived only a cul-de-sac away from each other, and we went to the same school, and we were in the same grade, and we were even in the same, uh, in the same English class. I was kind of scared to be friends with Caitlin. What if she didn't think I was cute or popular enough? Okay, March 8, 2015, school. We slowly approached our elementary school. Mom and John had walked us to school. It was a very short distance from my house. <laughs> I wrote my address. That's kind of funny. Um, it, was very, it was very busy. I didn't recognize anyone except our next door neighbor, Carter, who was starting his first day of kindergarten. We had neighborhoods with two grades in each. My neighborhood had fifth and sixth graders in it. I'm in the fifth grade. We have a portable. My mom opened the door. I was late. My teacher had short, blonde, crazy hair. <laughs> She's very tall and pretty. Her name is Mrs. Bodily. She was talking about her careers, her interests, and other stories. I sat in my seat next to, uh, next to pretty nice blonde girl. I looked at my desk and there was a paper on my desk. I didn't fill it out. I looked around. Caitlin, my friend from church, was sitting on the other side of the class. And Wyatt, the other boy in my church class, was at the table next to mine. I looked around trying to figure out who else, uh, who could be Caitlin's other two friends. But there was three girls. I was trying to figure out which one of them was Caitlin's friends. One of them was, I was positive, was one of Caitlin's friends. She looked like one of the popular girls in all the movies. Short blonde hair, cute shirt with a matching scarf jeggings and gorgeous black high heels oh first day of fifth grade and that's what she shows up in <laughs> um she kept obsessively grooming her hair shoulders up and paying perfect attention not a snicker in sight she was really short and skinny with skinny thighs <gasps> i remember who that girl was one girl with long blonde hair that she kept combing who didn't have an outfit similar to caitlin's this was the girl who I thought might be friends with Caitlin, but she wasn't, and I know who this was. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay, so this this girl who I'm describing right now, her name's Jessie. If you're watching this, Jessie, then hi. And she's my friend. But anyways, so one girl had long blonde hair and that she kept combing, but her outfit didn't look like Caitlin's. The other girl had long, thick, curly brown hair, and she had a cute white top with yellow spots along with a navy blue short flowery skirt. Skirts and high heels on the first day of school? Fifth graders are weird. <laughs> she had a white headband with a flower on it and gorgeous white flats with tiny flower indented holes on the side and a bow in the middle. I describe a lot. <laughs> oh, rang already? It only been an hour and a half? Everyone zoomed outside when the, teachers, when the teacher excused us. <laughs> I drew a lot of drawings here, too, if you can see. I drew drawings of the girls. Whew. I saw Caitlin zoom outside. It was hard to catch up to her. I ran as fast as I could. They dodged in through a door, turned right, turned right again, made another right, and then turned left. Soon we were in the girls' restroom. Oh, yeah, that's where us cool fifth graders hung out, the girls' restroom. <laughs> uh, they dodged in, or, yeah. Soon we were in the girls' restroom. I studied the two girls Caitlin was with. Sure enough, the short, skinny girl with short blonde hair is one of them. I almost thought for sure the other girl with blonde hair was Caitlin's other friend, but for some reason, I thought both of her friends would have blonde hair and blue eyes like her. <laughs> um, it happened to be the other girl with brown hair who sat by Caitlin. Uh, they used the bathroom and washed their hands, and so I did the same. Oh, Caitlin said as she saw me, this is Jade. She's in my church class. Uh, this is Ashlyn and Ashlyn, See, she said as she pointed to the two girls. <laughs> Ashlyn and Ashlyn. Yeah. If they, like, ever see these, this will be funny. <laughs> uh, we talked to the rest of recess, but I didn't hear what they were saying because I was just too shy. 
The next day, the girl who sits next to me asked if she could play with us. We said yes. I found out that her name is Amelia. The only problem is she played with us the next day, too, and the next. So then the fourth day, the Caitlin and Ashlyn ran away from her. But me and the other Ashlyn were confused and thought that it was mean of them to do that. So we ran in between Caitlin and Ashlyn and Amelia. They stopped running from Amelia but didn't want to play with her. So I played with her for a couple of days and then found and then she found another friend. So I played with Caitlin, Ashlyn, and Ashlyn for like a week. <laughs> Fifth grade year this year was all the drama. Like this is just the start. When we got to school, Caitlin went to the fence in front of the school. She said D track was back on track and she seemed really excited. I knew it would be a crazy day. So in my school, we had like tracks, like we had A track, B track, C track, and D track. And that was like your schedule was different depending on what track you were on. Um, like each class had a different track, if that makes sense. So yeah, so like some people would be in school while other people weren't and then they would come and then some other people would leave. So D track started school later than everyone else. So this was like the first day that D track was back. Caitlin ran toward a girl with side bangs, long, dirty blonde hair, freckles, and a smile. They screamed and then hugged. They slowly walked back to the portable. The girl lined up at the portable, and Caitlin uh, glanced at their line while blushing. She ran toward another girl with thin, dark brown hair. She was fairly tall and really skinny. The two screamed and then hugged. <laughs> the girl kept blushing. Jade, this is Emma, she said as they walked towards me, the very... She's very shy, Caitlin assured me. During recess, I played with Caitlin, Ashlyn, uh, Ashlyn, Emma, and the other girl who was named Maddie. They wanted to go tease some boys, but me and Maddie thought that that was rude, so we went on the grass and talked. I found out that we had a lot in common. I was excited for next recess. Next recess was a little different. Maddie and Caitlin didn't play with each other, and Caitlin kept talking about how mean Maddie was. I didn't get it. How could they be best friends one moment and then worse enemies the next? The next day was crazy. We invited a lonely girl to come play with us during recess. Soon we were playing with other girls. There were 10 of us in the group. It was awesome, playing with them all day. The next day was even more different. All 10 of us didn't hang out. Just me, Caitlin, Ashlyn, Ashlyn, and Emma. It was a unique day because I found out that Caitlin liked Jaren. <laughs> He's on D-track. He has blonde hair and blue eyes. He's good at all sports and really handsome. Caitlin often went to go talk to him and apparently hung out with all, they hung out all the time. I don't know why I put quotation marks. They hung out. Am I, am I saying they did more than hang out? I don't, I don't know why I did that. Um, I played with them for a good week and then I went and, and then often went to the boys. One day I saw Amelia and two girls in my class, Jesse and Ashlyn, or Aislinn, playing so I decided to go see if they wanted to play with me. <laughs> so I have like my girl squad, right? And there's like, I'm with all these popular girls and I felt all shy and stuff. And there's all these boys that they like and all this stuff. But then I see Amelia and Jesse and Aislinn. I remember we played with Aislinn. So something might be happening. Just stop right there. So yeah, I have my squad. And now I'm going to go see if Jesse and Amelia will play with me because we are in fifth grade. So we played with people. But I hope you enjoyed this little snitch of my journal or my diary journal. First day of fifth grade. Woo. Well, not just first day, but uh, like first couple months or whatever. But fifth grade is crazy. I have so many more stories I could share in here that are really funny and stuff. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and tell me below, be like, hey, do another one of these. Like, or you can go to my Instagram and be like, hey, you can comment or DM me and be like, please do another one of these because I like it. Because I think it's just so fun to read my past journals, especially because I wrote so many details. So yeah, go let me know if you want to see more of these. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.